So on this episode, I'm going to show you the demo and reconstruction of the floor for the camper. Um, there's going to be a little bit of ripping out the old floor that was there. It's kind of a little bit of rotten flooring and some, you know, some water damage and termite damage, things like that. And then putting in the new floor, insulating the floor, putting in the new floor and uh, screwing that down to the existing floor joists. So this is kind of the first step just to give us a, a place to stand on for when we do the, um, uh, you know, the rest of the build. So um, anyway, it's going to be uh, just a bunch of demo and then rebuilding. Of so it's one of the demo days here on the camper. We are ripping out the floor because it was repaired really incorrectly. So we got it down to this awesome green linoleum, the original 70s linoleum, and then down to the studs and then the uh, steel or aluminum flashing underneath and we're ripping out kind of around the edges because the wood's all rotten I don't know you can probably see it there a little bit that the uh, the wood was rotten and they just built on top of it so we're going to rip it out and we're kind of supporting the walls as we go ripping out the edges looks like the front just the very front has a lot of the you know the water damage in this side here but so we're just nothing much to it just ripping it out and and going and just kind of marching our way down we're going to go down to the back here and so rip, ripping up this floor and seeing what the studs the uh, floor joists look like underneath Okay, so I'm underneath the camper now and I have that bottom plate put on and it's right at the edge of this aluminum pan that's sitting on top of the metal trailer itself. So it's right on the edge. I'm going to just, you know, go down the line and make sure it's right on the edge and where there were some previous uh, staple holes, I'm going to put some, some short screws in there to hold the, basically just to hold the board and the, um, and the pan together. And then I'm going to come back and screw a bolt or just or uh, drill a hole and then put a bolt through the, the trailer itself, the bottom plate, and then the, the bottom of the, fl the uh, wall here. So it all gets cinched together and held to the trailer with a bolt so it doesn't come flying off going down the highway. So I'm going to start doing this next. Okay, well, it's been a few weeks I guess maybe a month since I've been working on the trailer here and uh, just finally getting back to it anyway I've been working on the front side here today basically connecting the walls down to the floor with these uh, two by fours and two by sixes so
All right, one. Well, it's been a few days again, and I'm back at it to try to finish off the floor. This is the existing floor. I didn't get quite so much done last weekend, but I wanted to show you a little bit of a dilemma here in my executive decision. So, you know, the floor was kind of beat up, and I'm breaking it off here, as you can see. But it, it kind of keeps going somewhat broken it seems like it gets better as it goes to the back but it's still kind of broken up and uh, not the best but i'm kind of i'm pretty sure now i'm thinking i'm going to cut my losses and just cut this off at a nice even um e even line with the bathroom here because basically it goes underneath the bathroom and this whole bathroom piece is just one solid piece and i'm I think I'd open up a lot more cans of worms if I got into it uh, and did, it basically just took the whole back end of this thing off. I'm, I don't really think I want to get that deep. So what I'm going to do, the floor seems solid walking on it, walking in the, in the shower area and in the bathroom floor area. Uh, it seems pretty solid. So I think I'm just going to cut this off. You know, I've got some shag carpet remnants here. It looks like what they did was they built the floor put the carpet on the whole camper and then built the bathroom on top of the carpet which is odd because this this carpet is going underneath the back of the tub which is it just seems odd to me why they would do it that way maybe it's just quicker but I, I don't really again I don't really want to get into that so I think now I'm going to cut this off All right, looks like the Multimax did the trick. It's got kind of a decent straight line now across the back edge here. So I got a little more to clean up here with a knife on that carpet edge and then sweep all this junk up. <clears throat> I got this last piece in it was uh, went in pretty quickly just got to screw it down now so uh, so that that's it for the floor um, I'm not sure how well you can see me it's getting kind of late so I'm glad it's uh, it kind of all happened in, uh, in this one day to finish the floor off but anyway I appreciate you guys um, sticking around for this video um, this was kind of a longer one with the demo and floor kind of figuring out as I went and um, Got some more uh, projects on this camper on the horizon, going to be doing the uh, new siding on one side over there and then uh, maybe working on some windows, uh, kind of seeing what those projects entail. It's, it, I have no idea what, uh, what that's going to, can of worms that's going to open up. But anyway, um, if you would, uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. Um, again, thank you guys for watching and um, Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.